back to the channel you guys welcome back to ironclad rc got the little rigger out here i just uh redone the stuffing tube i put the a submerged drive stuffing tube in the boat and i uh, try to air it out a little bit it's always bounced and uh yesterday was my first test run today i wanted to kind of follow it up with a little bit larger esc so we'll see what she does uh just wanted to run this one and i, and I kind of wanted to just kind of go over or discuss what to look out for when the water temperature starts cooling down and uh you know with your rc boats how to preserve the longevity of your boat in the colder water conditions because it does play a big factor in the way your boat performs so stick around so yeah i'm gonna run a little rigger real quick all right gotta watch out for the weeds it's really windy today She's running good, y'all. Little bounce right off the start, and then she's like planes right out. See? Nice, and it's windy today. Yeah, she's running good. Still a little bounce in the corner because I'm taking such a sharp corner, I guess. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, have a little word about cold weather and your boat's electronics. Uh, when it's 40 below and, and the water temperature is uh, just as cold as the air temperature, you know, uh, you think you can go out, run your boats and run them hard, you know. Like, let's run the heck out of them. You know what I mean? Uh, the water temperature is cold, cool. It'll cool the speed controller down, right? But that's not necessarily uh, true. I mean, it is. It's going to cool your speed controller down and, uh, you know, better than it would in the summertime. And that's kind of the point. And really, it's kind of, it's quite the opposite, really. Um, your ESC and battery, uh, they don't, they don't like the cold. You know, the batteries don't like the cold just as much as an ESC. Don't like heat. Um, your batteries will actually lose lose C rating, all right, in the cold weather, 40 below. Well, when you lose C rating because of the cold, it, it plays with your ESCs. So, you, you know, you could go up in C rating in the cooler weather and maybe get away with it, all right? You know, when your batteries lose C rating, it causes a ripple through your 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 ESC, like a like a voltage sag, a ripple in your ESC. Uh, your ESC can go bad in the cold due to a few different reasons, uh, my opinion anyway. Uh, your internal, the internal temperature. Just take this ESC for example. All right, we got the coolant plate. The water runs through the coolant plate, cools the ESC down. It's usually glued right on top of those little boards there. All right, but what about the other side? All right, internal temperature will kill an ESC. Ripple voltage, voltage sag, insufficient power source, C rating will will destroy the capacitors in your ESC. Therefore, destroying your ESC. Yeah. Uh, low c rated battery insufficient power source going to the battery ripple voltage voltage sags those will all destroy your esc um it'll swell your your capacitors up all right so that's one way a few different ways your batteries will destroy your esc all right in the cold weather but i think uh cold weather cold water cooling your ESC down actually cools the ESC down uh, too much not allowing the ESC 
to actually pick up on the high temperatures. This temperature sensor won't pick up on the high temperatures, internal high temperatures in your electronic speed control. Uh, that may is that may be like super hot due to a lack of C rating, lack of voltage, voltage sag in the ESC. So the, the water is actually cooling the ESC down too fast. Any delay in water flow, like a, a break in running, will cause a heat soak in your ESC. You give it some trigger, you go back at it hard, and it sneaks right back up on the ESC. I don't know to go into a thermal shutdown, and it's too late. The ESC's done. So uh, just, you know, if you're going to be running your boats in the winter, I, I, I run my boats all winter long. I live here in North Carolina. The temperatures don't get too uh, cold. No ice on the lakes. So I run them all year. What I do, instead of running a 50C pack in my ESC, all right, I'll run an 80C pack, all right, to actually make up for the loss of C rating in the colder temperatures. Um, also, if you keep your batteries warm to the pond, of course, they'll be warm while you're running. And then when you get back, Cool, uh, cool them off slowly will prolong the longevity of your batteries so a couple little tips there um, I'm going to tell you a little story in the next while I'm running my sniper um, so <laughs> yeah uh, just be careful just be careful running your boats in the winter just because the water's cold don't mean you can run the snot out of them you know hope this helps somebody Yeah, I got a little sniper here. Let's see what she does, huh? Yeah, little rigger's running good. She's running good today, y'all. She's running good, especially through the wind. Yeah, you have to be careful with your with your boats in the winter time. Uh, in the fall, late fall, when the water temperatures start to cool down, you know, uh, those ESCs. I mean, they have a, a, a high temperature cut, you know, a thermal shutdown. But but they can't they can't really detect it in the winter time. You know what I'm saying? Um, the water's cooling the, the the speed control so fast on the outside, you know, especially like when you're when you're changing props and stuff it's cool on the outside of the esc so the inside of the esc uh will will, will get hot and 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 you just run it hard 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 and, and it just don't know when to do a thermal shutdown in the winter you know what i'm saying and that and the heat will sneak up on it you know literally until it's too late you know to cut off and your esc's fried I, i've had it happen to me a few times because i love running my boats in the winter time you know changing props and stuff or or even if you run your boat hard and then you, you just take a, a little break for a couple of minutes okay your your speed controller it's heat soaking right now it's actually soaking in in heat because the water is warm all right and then you go to take off and punch it okay and all that power goes through your esc at one time after it's been sitting there and, and and boom it's going to heat your electronic speed controller up and, and and like i said it don't even have time to realize it uh i hope i hope i'm making sense to you i mean I've, I've had it happen even in my limitless even in cars you know rc cars you have to be careful in my limitless it was like the day after christmas my wife got me a pair of new hoons and uh i run the car you know what I'm saying? I did one pass, and normally I could do two passes with my with my setup I had with a Max 5 and everything, and I could do two passes in a row, no problem. I did my first pass, the second pass to come through, blew the ESC up. I, I don't know what it is. With my boats, I've, I've been out here in the winter running, running them, running them hard, you know, and cause, you know, you think the water temperature is gonna cool them down, right? So you run them a little bit, you run them a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? And and that's not that's just not the case. But I've just had a lot of hard times with the ESCs in the wintertime, you know, failing on me because of uh thermal shutdown, thermal overheat, you know. 
some of you know new boaters with the 42s and stuff or new boaters period you, you might not know that you think the water temperature is cooling down and you can run them hard as shit. you know you think you can run the mess out of them but but it's just not the case you know skipping a little skippy skipping school if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel definitely think about subscribing uh, we do all kind of fun stuff on here on my channel we build boats we we we, we race boats we get boats stuck in the weeds <laughs> I just pop the hood on her let's get a couple temps real quick before we go all right so 119 on the speed control that's operating range 102 on the motor there 110 in the back of the motor so she's running good so yeah i appreciate you guys watching just wanted to run a couple boats this sunday uh you know sunday fun day we'll see you guys next time